Hello, this is Joyce. <clears throat> I have been very busy. As you can see, I have started packaging up my cards. So those are ready to go in the I'm done file. And another thing that I have done today is I made a Christmas album. And I started on some tags. So I've kind of been kind of busy. And what I used for my Christmas album was Graphic 45. And I used the whole pad, except for these little bits here. And I used a couple sheets from the 12 by 12. I used, what is it called? Well, oh, crap. I done tore, you can see I've torn the, I cut the paper up because I'm going to, this is part of the back of the chip, the packaging. So I'm going to use that on a card. And I've got these few little pieces here. These are some of the cutouts. I'm going to use those to decorate pages. I haven't decorated the pages, but I'll show it to you in a minute. And because this Santa Claus was the front cover of the paper, I decided to cut him out and use him for something. So I got that, and that's it. That's all that's left of that pad. And I'm very excited because I have had it for... And I can't remember what Christmas it is called. Wait a minute. <clears throat> I've got something off of there. Let me see. I can tell you it is Graphic 45 Christmas Past Collection Holiday Spirit. And this is from way back. And it don't have the date on here. 2010. That's when it's from. 2010. And I've had it probably since then. But anyway, let me raise this up some. This is my album. You're crooked. Okay, so that is my album. That's the front cover. And I don't think it needs any decoration. So what I did was took some ribbons and just put down on the binder ring. I uh, used my cinch to bind it. And this is a one and a quarter inch ring because I didn't have any one inch. Uh, but I guess it will do. And so that is the front cover. And if, as you'll notice, that is the same picture that came off the paper. So I'm going to use that on something else. And so when you open it up, I did some flip pages. So I'll open it up. And then that is, I had, like I said, I haven't done any decorations and I didn't do any pockets. Um, that is the inside cover. So I don't want it to be bulky. We have a flip out and we can put several pictures and I'm going to put some journaling cards. And so that one flips. And I use my Graphic 45 magnets. And so the next page is not a flip, it is just a double page spread. And then you come back here and we have another flip. My table is a mess. Um, this would have been the cutouts in the little pad, but I decided to just use it. And then it's this page. Not a cut, not a flip out on this one. It's like every other one. And this is, I actually used three pieces of chipboard. And I was cutting the chipboard with my uh, paper trimmer, my big one. And for some reason, after three sheets, it wouldn't go through. So I only cut, you know, I used um, some Gina K paper to for the rest of the pages. So then there's that. And I used another full page of the cutouts. And then on this page, you have another flip. And we have one more flip here. I, did, I meant to put a single page in between that, but I didn't. So we have another flip here. And I really like this. I'm not decided. After I got it together, I couldn't decide if I was going to sell it at the Christmas show, uh, craft show. Anyway, that's one of the another one of the cutouts. And as you can see, I decided to use them. And that is the back. And I'll just put my information on here. And that is my album. I do like it. Um, that back page is not 
they're all the same size but it's pulling it so anyway but that is my album I just wanted to share that for the day so I have been working it took me about maybe four hours to finish it because I started from nothing but paper so I had to cut and I started on using my Tim Holtz folio and I inked it all up and I started matting it but the 8x8 eight eight paper was really too short for this by about an inch so I didn't like the way it was going but I do have some um, 12 by 12 pages and I'm going to go back and I'm going to use those on here so I will be working on that one soon and I realized too with this one I had a quarter inch around and when I did the other folio I made the cuts I didn't have that quarter inch so the pages were totally covered from end to end and I really like that look better so I picked up three of them. I'm going to go ahead and do this one like it is and um, do the matting and stuff and it'll be more raw but then I'm going to do a second one for Christmas and I'm going to do it where the pages the what I cover it with is from end to end. I like that look so much better. It looked more finished than this one did so I got kind of frustrated with that after I realized what I had done so anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I'd love to hear what you think, you know, your comments. So leave a comment. Let me know how you like it or if you like it or not. But that is it. Thanks for stopping by. And have a good evening. A few more hours, it'll be time to go back to work. Bye.